Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode, we ignored a person who was being assaulted by like three uh, by three separate Igna. This time, we're going to be taking on three separate Igna that aren't assaulting a person, so... Honestly, great use of my time. Uh... Okay. Before I do that, actually... There's something I've been slacking on that I keep forgetting to do. <laughs> Arts! I keep forgetting to upgrade them. I'm going to upgrade Anchor Shot by one level and Double Spinning Edge since I have enough for both of them. I'm going to keep Sword Bash in reserves because I don't like it that much. Um, I think I will increase... Armor Crusher, because it has a chance of lowering defense, and that's good. That synergizes well with Pyra, who's good at dealing damage. I'm gonna increase healing Halo on Nia, and also put Butterfly Butterfly Blade back, uh, just because it will be nice to have a character who can actually inflict break. So I'm going to put Gemini Loop back in reserves, uh, because if we aren't gonna have Tora all the time. And then it'll be good to have somebody who can inflict break for Rex. I also want to increase Jackal Claw. I probably should have done Deadly Twister, but I didn't. And Muscle Uppercut is all we can really do for Van Damme. We're going to ignore Tora for now, <laughs> because I don't like him. Okay. This group of Igna you can ignore. Which is a good idea because Igna are legitimately some of the more powerful enemies in this game. However, there's a group up here that you're probably going to try to ignore and then they're going to end up chasing you. You're going to think, oh, I'll just keep going until I reach the next landmark. And then you won't reach the next landmark because you can't be in combat in order to reach it. So, in, that, in this case, we're going to actually bother fighting them. I'm not used to not having Burst Affinity at the very beginning of a fight in this game, because I've been playing Xenoblade 1. Because you get the you get the button prompt to press B at the very beginning of a battle you engage in Xenoblade 1, and that increases affinity permanently throughout the battle. You don't get that in this game. It doesn't increase affinity, it increases, uh, it increases tension. But we don't have tension in this game, because tension is a mechanic exclusive to Xenoblade 1. Okay, we're going- yeah, as soon as you hear that Igna- or, yeah, if you hear a whistle and you see the exclamation point above its head, you are going to want to take out that, that, that Igna right away because it's going to get help from Igna that are further up, and that just means a ton more enemies. Uh, luckily, we took it down before it could alert anything other than this extra Ansel? Is there an Ansel somewhere? I thought I saw an Ansel, but I didn't. Apparently, it was just- no, there's two enemies fighting us right now. Because something has aggro on me and Nia. Oh. Garanta Gyana. That's a funny name. That sounds like the brother of Groot Avenger. Or Guardian of Galaxy. It's up to you which you prefer to call him from. I don't particularly care for either of those series, so it doesn't matter to me. That thing just inflicted blowdown and jumped across the entire... Battlefield, okay. That wasn't what I was expecting from something that looks like this. And it's doing it again, it seems. Never mind. Got a Fendi Reward level 1 swoop for uh, Rock. I'll go ahead and do that right now, why not? We've been getting a lot of Affinity Awards in this Let's Play. Yeah, we already have two for Rock that I just didn't check, apparently. Reduces aggro buildup from attacks by 20%. That's not... Great for Van Damme, actually, but okay. And Swoop increases damage dealt from the back by 20%. That's also not bad. If Rex had Rock, then we could uh, use that with Sword Bash, and I mean, that would be great because it would make Sword Bash probably like on equal ground with Double Spinning Edge. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to get out of these Ignis Path. Uh, I can't save during a Let's Play, though. It... Yeah, whatever, I'll try it. Never mind, okay, whatever. That's fine. 
If you two could get away from that cliff, that would be really sick. Okay, at least we toppled the Whispering one. Those are the ones that go for help, so if we can take this down, yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, because those Igna over there apparently just haven't seen that we're destroying their friends, which is great. Uh, it has break. And now it's dead, because we got a joint combo. Okay. And now Granto Giana is joining the fun, and this Igna is going to see us too. I thought Van Damme got toppled, but nope, I'm just dumb. Okay. Just gotta keep working on this. We gotta, like... Oh, nope, the Archer Igna seems to have finally noticed. Good. Good, just what I wanted. I'm gonna need to focus on HP potions now. I already mess messed up that button prompt because there's, like, a ton going on right now. The bitrate is probably freaking dying. Uh, jumping mace. Yep, okay, that's the art where it inflicts blood on jumps. That's good to know. Who is the... Well, now they're both targeted on Van Damme. Okay, Van Damme is going to be targeted from a distance by the Archer Igna. Archer Ignas are just Ignas that attack from a distance because they have a bow and arrow. If that wasn't already obvious by the fact that they are an Archer Igna with a bow and arrow with multiple arrows on their back. Okay. We got Stop Thinking level 2 on Korra. That's actually really good. That's one of the better Affinity rewards in the game. Uh, but I'll inflict that later. Right now, check the blocked Floodgate. If you have Fire Mastery level 1 and Wind Mastery level 1, which you will 100% of the time thanks to Pyra and Rock, you'll be able to unblock the dam, which will drain this lake pond. I, it's more the size of a pond, I guess. Which is just what we need. Because that will unblock the path to Fonzamima. But we also have a rare treasure trove over here. This is the rarest type, I believe, the white ones. Usually they'll have some form of rare core crystal. Uh, whether it's rare or legendary is up to the game to decide, but... Uh, yeah. Now we've reached Tardy Gate. What's so tardy about it? Why is it late? Well, it's late because those Igna... Well, there's more Igna up here, so I probably shouldn't talk poorly about them while they're in earshot, because then they will attack me. Um, but I don't like the Igna... Um, I wasn't saying anything about the Igna. The Igna are some of the most, like, scary creatures in Xenoblade. And we'll, we'll go into it later, maybe, if I decide to, but the Igna actually have, like, an entire hierarchy on Uriah that is completely optional to actually learn anything about. I just find that funny. We have a God Arm Driver and another one that I can't lock onto for some reason. Why? Oh my god, they started encountering us. We got an automatic refill on love sources, which isn't a good thing. Uh, it's good to keep an eye on items like that that you don't want an automatic refill of, that you don't want to, like, waste. One of these drivers is a unique monster. Can't really call them a unique monster when they're a driver, but... Oh no, Vanda... Okay, we're getting out of here. These guys are too powerful. <laughs> they just took down Van Damme and, like in a matter of like 20 seconds. That is not good. Yeah, Marshall Cameron is the only one who seems to have any interest in chasing us, but he's also the most threatening one, so that doesn't mean much of anything. God, he just won't give up. Do you think he knows that his friends are the one who like started this? They're the ones that shot me. Well, hit me with an... I don't think any of them actually had a dart cannon or whatever we're using with Azami, but... My point still stands. God, I'm, I'm a little upset that we got an automatic refill with the love source. I don't want to get rid of it now, because then I'll be wasting the effects that it's forcing me to use. 
I will check to see if any other characters still have a love source in their pouch, just so I can get rid of it. Uh, so it doesn't automatically refill. Yeah, Nia needs to get rid of that for... Um... Nia, you can have Glitter Bake. I'll actually- I'll give a love source to Van Damme because he hasn't had one yet. That's not that important, and Tora is the one who got the automatic reef- Tora and Rex both did because they got him at the same time. Okay. Good to know. I shouldn't have given Van Damme one because Rock doesn't get any levels on the affinity chart through, uh... Through affinity, but... It- I guess... whatever. Still worthwhile. We're almost to Fonzamima. We're on the Funny Stone Highway, which I've always thought was a really funny name. Because it has funny in the word, I guess. Just Funny Stone is a funny word. And I wish that was like a real type of stone in the real world. Because that would be funny. Stone. I'm running out of words to say. I just kind of want to be in Fonzamima. Fonza Mima, right now. <laughs> I am bad at words right now. Okay. We're at the Gwyneth Patties. Gwyneth. I don't want to think about anybody with the name Gwyneth or Gwyneth. Dane is looking more and more likely by the day. Looks like they've expanded the military program. That's a lot of warships. These ships look different to normal ships. Yeah, we don't muck about with our Titans much. No need for it. Orion's like things pretty natural. I've seen Orion ships before, back in Argentum. It's like the total opposite of how the Ardanians use them. That could be one reason. They're always at each other's throats. They've been like cats and dogs for a long time. Well, from where I stand, the Ardanians are worse. All that metal is just bad taste. It's easy to think that way. But you're not considering how the Titans themselves feel. Huh? Don't all those modifications hurt? When Titans live with humans, that's just the way it is. Hmm. I used to have a hut on my back and a crane stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I never complained, not even when Rex fired up a grill on my shoulders. Hey, you used to like that. Hmm. Well, yes, I did like that. In fact, I miss it. If I did that now, we'd end up with Rose Titan. Indeed. <laughs> Let's not have Rose Titan because Gramps is a okay character. I was gonna say a good character, but he's just he's just kind of there a lot of the time, and he also has a lot of the issues I have with Tora, though not nearly as bad. Hey. Fellow mercenaries, are you? Fonza Mima's in a state of panic preparing for the war to come. Make sure you don't stand out too much in case the army draft you into their ranks. Well, I figure we'll all get dragged into it somehow eventually. Uriah's armed forces are essentially made up both the regular army and the mercenaries. And come war time, us mercs will be swimming in gold. True. Actually, that might not be the best. That might not be the best context for that. What's that? It's a distribution center. The government tries to ration out what little resources they have. In practice, it's just first come, first served. Okay, that's the last one for today. <gasps> Come on! I'm a soldier! Been busting my gut for this country! 
That should be going to me! Not the likes of you! Huh? Don't look at me like that. Respect your elders, you snot-nosed brat! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? She's just a child. What? Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Rex, this isn't our business. Leave it. <sighs> Being an adult isn't just about barking orders. Sometimes you need to help someone weaker. Uh, shut your face! You don't know what the hell you're talking about! I love that Van Damme is supposed to be like the elder who's supposed to know what he's doing, but he's just kind of always on board whenever Rex decides he wants to beat someone up. I find it funny, but it's just so they, like, know... It's just so you know that he's okay with it when you actually have him in the party to fight. Because a lot of people honestly don't use Van Damme, and that's completely fine and understandable because he's definitely not like a great replacement for a tank, uh, which Tora is a tank. And this is this is a game where it's always a good idea to have a tank in your party. But Van Damme's just better than Tora because he's a good character. He actually has redeeming characteristics that are likable, so it's completely up to personal preference. Yeah, we're not going to get another topple, but we've already toppled him twice, so that's fine with me. Oh, now I'm up here. Okay. Generally, you're not able to be on the high ground during fights in this game, so that's cool. <sighs> Who are you? Huh? The... The, the color of that crystal? You're... Uh, uh, ah! Not good. He'll be bringing others before long. The rumors about Pyra must have traveled pretty far. Even grunts like him have heard him. Sorry. I guess I should have used the cloak. But who spread rumors? From what I hear, it's some fancy pants Nopon merchant. A Nopon merchant? Excuse me, Mr. Van Dam. Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't I own her! You grew a fair bit. How's Grandpa Cole doing? Ah. Not too good, then. Who's this? Huh? Oh, this is I own her. That old friend of mine takes care of her. Hi, Iona. Great to meet you. Come on! Let's beat it before those soldiers show up! It's a new day, everyone! <laughs> Great timing. Okay. Yeah, let's... I mean, it was nighttime when we got here, so it's obviously been a few hours. I don't think they're gonna be showing up. I think we're fine. We got a trade shop here. I'm not... I don't think there's anywhere you can actually salvage Inuraya. But there was a trade shop in Van Damme's camp too in Garfont Village, so... I'm not entirely sure what the deal with the trade shops is. The main way you're going to be getting affinity in this game is from shops, but... All the items you can sell at trade shops mostly come from Gormont and Argentum. Hmm... Is this some kind of theater? Yeah. It's a theater, all right. The guy we're here for leads the troop here. Ah, actors, eh? And right now, they're in the middle of a show. Well, you want to take a quick peek? The heroic adventures of Adam. Might be interesting. I've never been to the theater before. Neither has Tora. Let's do it. Nice and quiet, though. Looks like it's pretty packed today. Okay.
And I saw at that time that the powers of darkness had engulfed almost everything. People and titans alike were drawn into the abyssal vortex. The apocalypse was upon us. The end was nigh. But then, despite the wounds all over his body, the great Adam stood. O oh, architect, grant me power. Power to banish the dark. Power to illuminate the world. Lo, loyal servant of the architect, the Aegis. O oh, Aegis, bless me with your power. Bring light upon the world. Thus they defeated the darkness, but at a terrible price. Three great continents sank beneath the sea of clouds forever. Servant of the architect, by thy power, the world is saved. For the gift you have granted us, we are eternally grateful. I shall spread thy legend far and wide. May your name live on for eternity. Well, that was certainly something that's uh, i've only ever seen one thing in an actual real world theater so i can't comment that much on the accuracy of this situation what do you have to say natty hey such a great play so sad but uplifting too they've been performing the heroic adventures of adam ever since i was a child you know it's amazing that we keep a tale from 500 years ago going like we do true I was running into a thing. Hey. Kind of awkward, right? What was awkward? I mean, that play. It was about Pyra. Must have been kind of bizarre for her, right? I don't know. I guess. Maybe you should go and make it right. Make it right? How? Oh. Idiot. Figure it out yourself. Huh? What am I supposed to... Uh, uh... So, the theatre. Wasn't it incredible? They had the cloth moving, just like real clouds. How did you think they did that? Huh? Uh, yeah. The clothes are pretty cool. They were so... cloudy? What are you saying, Bonehead? There's no need for that. I don't know what to say in a situation like this. Coming in, old fella. Crikey! Still collecting the junk, are ya? Watch it, you bruiser. Don't make fun of a man's hobbies. Some greeting for your old comrade. Comrade? Yeah. I was a freelancer before the firm got going. Believe it or not, me and this old fella tore up a good few battlefields in our day. 
We sure did. And thanks to that bleeding heart of yours, we almost never got paid. <laughs> Says the guy in the theater troupe. You can't be raking in much dough either. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, friend? Cole. You're old, ain't ya? Old enough to know how you cross over to the World Tree. Get to Elysium, I mean. Elysium? But why? Why would you want to go there? That core crystal. You... you're... So the Aegis is back amongst us. Who is your driver? I am. You? <laughs> but you're... so young. How about it, old man? Do you know the way or not? Hmm... I dare say, if you've trekked all the way here to ask me, you've already tried going yourselves. Yeah, but we couldn't make it. No wonder. No one can get to the tree. Well, that thing's guarding the way there. It won't let anyone past. But... A long time ago, there was a man who went up the tree. Met the architect, too. There was? Really? Yeah. I'll wager anything. He's got an idea how to get there again. You should try asking him. Well, who was it? Uh, hmm. Please, tell us. I've got to get to Elysium, no matter the cost. Well, I can tell you. But first, I'd like to have a word with her, if I may. With the Aegis, I mean. With Pyra? Of course. Please, through here. Mr. Cole, right? You wrote that play, didn't you? I hope it didn't stir up any painful memories. No, some of them are... good memories. <laughs> You know, you're not very convincing. I'm sorry, I really am. I just wanted people to know about that time. Show people how we were back in those days. Really get it across to them. Will you be using it again? That power? I don't know yet. I just don't know if this world can take it a second time. I know that. I'd never use it if there was another way. This is what I hope for, but... That man's the only one who knows how to get to where you're going. Do you think you can make it to him? I just wanted to make sure. We can. I mean, it's my destiny. Yeah. That boy who's with you. His name's Rex. He's a good person. With a kind heart. Reminds me of a certain someone. <laughs> okay then, I'll help you out. Thank you, Minoth. Minoth? I'd almost forgotten that name. Now then, where did it get to? <coughs> <coughs> Grandpa! Old man, you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be fine in a second. <coughs> Seriously, <coughs> don't mind me. Now, nah, we better call it a day, old timer. <sighs> I'm sorry, fella. Yeah, <coughs> okay. <coughs> but. Come back again tomorrow, will ya? There's something I want to give you. <laughs> Come on, I know a place we can rest.
Van Damme knows a way, a place we can rest. Well, that's sick. I don't, so why is he not leading us? I always love in games like this when somebody tells you they're going to guide you, but they're a member of the party, so you just kind of walk there themselves while they, yourself while they follow you. It's just, I, it's funny to me. I don't know. I love climbing down Fonzamima because you can just jump off buildings and stuff. And you're unlikely to die unless it's like a really far drop. It's just fun. Well, if it isn't Van Damme, it's been a while. Today stays on the house for old time's sake. Now get yourself some rest. Also, stop messing with my camera. Okay. Make yourselves at home. 